So here's the quick run version of the tutorial for creating movers uh, in UE4 using the sequencer. Um, I'll just go through as quickly as I can so you can see how it works. So I'm going to first of all make a cube, place it into the level, and rescale to the size that I want. Position it correctly. So, I'm then going to add the level sequence. Create a folder to save it in. Platform, and I'll just call it SEQ to make it a little easier to find. So we've got a level sequence. I'm going to add this. Uh, I'm going to add it this way just by selecting it from the world outliner. I'm going to set my first keyframe. I'm going to move the platform up. Like so, set the second keyframe. I'm just going to shift these work areas so I can see properly. Hold down Alt and shift that keyframe over there. So there's the platform running. Um, just a reminder that if you want to change things after you've set the uh, the position already, then just move to the keyframe that you want and do it through this um, this setting here, just by dragging those transform X Y Z settings. So that's the platform built. Um, remember that. sequence hidden sometimes within the floor. Let's bring that out so we can see it. I named it SEQ at the end so it's easy to find. I'm just going to place it there. I'm going to set it to autoplay and to loop indefinitely. I'm going to test this now. There's our basic platform running like so. We can step on that and move around on it small and then the other thing that we created was rather than auto playing it's just to make a trigger box so that the player can actually walk into that area and trigger the mover to start so we've got the trigger box we can open on level blueprint Create a reference to the uh, overlap event. We can overlap for the trigger box. We're going to create a reference to our sequence to the player sequence, and then to the play play looping. We're going to link that up there. this so we can run we can go up here we can turn on the trigger box that starts to the platform to run like so so that's the quick speed run version of it again hope that was useful for you